Hello, um, I'm Olivia, and I'm going to be talking about Lawrence Colbert um, and his theory on how moral reasoning changes as people get older and grow up. So, um, Colbert had, on his theory, um, three different levels. So he had the pre-conventional moral reasoning, the conventional moral reasoning, and then the post-conventional moral reasoning. Um, and within each of these stages, um, he had two separate, um, two, okay, so there's three levels and then two stages at each level, if that makes sense. So his very first one, the, um, the pre-conventional, um, and in this one he said, um, everything is egocentric, similar to Piaget's where children are most interested in their own personal pleasure and they're avoiding um, punishments. So this first stage, this first step, is um, that punishment and obedience um, orientation and all children are trying to follow rules in order to avoid punishment. Um, and then the second step in this is everyone like children are conforming to get rewards and have favors returned to them. So in this um, this main stage, the pre, pre-conventional pre stage, children are focusing on doing things and following rules in order to avoid punishment and to get rewards. So it's a punishment and a reward system. Um, Kahlberg's second stage is the conventional and in this one, he said that um, it relates, like every thought that children have relate to their current observable practices and things that are going on around them. So children are watching what their parents, teachers, and friends are all doing, and they're trying to like follow suit and fit in. So this is a lot about conformity. Um, so there's a lot of emphasis on like good boy or girl or bad, boy or girl morality, and children are conforming to avoid the disapproval or dislike um, by their peers and by others. Um, so that's like the third step in, in this stage. And then the fourth step is children begin to conform to avoid like censure or like punishment by authorities. So this stage is really hitting home about um, conformity and conforming in order to not have disapproval of the peers around them. So then Kohlberg's third stage and last stage, or his third level, is the post-conventional level. So in this one, um, Kohlberg said that it's similar to like former, formal operational thought because it's using more abstractions um, and it's going beyond and beyond what's concretely in front of them. So it's abstract thoughts and it's not just what they can observe in front of them. It's going beyond that. So like what is and what should be based on something else, not just simply what's in front of you. So the first or the fifth step is that we're, we begin to conform, children begin to conform to maintain communities and um, this is like a big emphasis on individual rights. Um, and then the sixth and last step in this stage um, is individual principles of conscience. So this last stage is mainly focusing on like moral obligations and like morality. So it's taking abstractions and going a little bit deeper than just what's in front of us, and we're pulling different things. Um, and yeah, that is Kohlberg's um, theory of morality.